TCU will make its second consecutive trip to the College World Series, but the last of the eight berths for Omaha wasn't filled until the Horn Frogs won in dramatic fashion early Tuesday morning. Senior Garrett Crane scored on a throwing error to the plate to give TCU a 5-4 victory over Texas A&M in 16, count them, 16 innings. Freshman catcher Evan Scow, who nearly won the game in his previous at bat, hit a hard grounder to the third that was bobbled, and the throw home eluded the catcher. Just a classic, you know, classic baseball game. Uh, one of the great, I think one of the greatest college baseball games ever had to be considering what's on the line. And really proud of my team, and really proud to be on the same same field with Texas A&M. You know, I was trying to uh, obviously I have TCU across my jersey, but I'm a college baseball fan too. And so, just to see the competition between you know two great teams, um, I mean, it was just a, part of it was incredibly enjoyable, and part of it was a beating all at the same time. Run scoring hits by seniors Derek O'Dell and Keaton Jones in the fifth inning gave TCU a 2-1 to one lead, and freshman designated hitter Connor Wanhanen picked the perfect time for his first career homer, taking a 1-1 pitch over the wall and right for a two-run shot and a 4-1 to one lead. But AM tied it with two runs in the top of the ninth inning without getting the ball out of the infield. You know, he's aggressive. I mean, that's, that, you know, that's our mentality. That's, a, that's the kind of baseball this team plays. And sometimes it looks ugly. And like I said, you know, I hear the groans in the stands. I get it. Um, but that's, you know, that's how we have to score. And the, the more pressure you can put on people, then maybe sometimes you get some mistakes along the way. TCU's pitching, starting with Alex Young, was exceptional. The Frogs set a school record with 25 strikeouts. And Mitchell Traver worked the last four innings to get the victory. That's where I was at. I didn't know how long I was going to have to go. Um, I didn't know how long this game was going to take. I didn't know if we were going to win or not, but I believe. Um, and I know all of our guys did too. And I know that we prepared the right way to put ourselves in a position to do that. Um, and for this to, to end like it did, I'm just very <clears throat> thankful. The road to Omaha is now hashtag toad to Omaha. For TCU's Horn Frogs, that's a sweet tweet. And it's time to add another sign to the left field wall. Reporting from TCU's Lupton Stadium at uh, about 2 a.m. Tuesday morning, I'm Wendell Barnhouse for the Big 12 Digital Network.